guys, welcome to back to our channel. This is the Purpose Sherman Homestead and I am Amanda. Uh, today, we are going to share with you our rabbit tractors. Now, in a previous video, we explained to you how we raise our meat rabbits and how you can too on your own homestead, uh, what we feed them, how we house them and so forth. So if you're interested in that and if you want to raise your own meat rabbits, go ahead and click the link above so that you can get a little bit more information. But today, we're gonna go ahead and go in a little bit more in depth um, on our rabbit tractors. I'm gonna share with you the difference between our first generation uh, rabbit tractor and our second generation, and what we've modified to make it a little bit easier for us here on our homestead. So this is our first generation rabbit tractor. We absolutely love it. It's uh, four sections, so it, um, it houses quite a bit of rabbits and if a mom has her kits, she can, there's enough space in there that she can go ahead and be with the babies and they can roam around. Um, but also it's enough space, or it's, it's great for just one rabbit. If you wanna have one or two rabbits in there, it's a great uh, tractor. The problem with it though is, as a woman, it is very hard to move this because it is quite a large tractor. Uh, it's made of wood, obviously, and wire mesh, and so, uh, when my husband is at work, it is very hard for me to go ahead and move by myself. I can do it on a flat surface, but if there's any sort of uh, incline, it's very hard for me to go ahead and move. And obviously I want to make sure that I'm able to do as much as I can on the homestead while my husband is at work. So I'm gonna share with you all of um, what we have here on our first generation and then what we've change. I'm going to go ahead and show you the second generation as well today. So stick around with us and we will share, share with you our second generation as well as how you can build it for your own homestead. Okay, so this is the first generation. As I said, they open up and we ripped down two by fours to save on lumber cost, but also so that it wouldn't be as heavy. So that is a great best practice and that is something that we did for our second generation and we'll show you that. Uh, some of the things that we did here was put the wire mesh and we stapled it along the outside. Uh, and then we also put some chicken wire in the inside so that they can have a little bit of a barrier, a wall between the four of them. Uh, now you would might be wondering why we have some wire mesh here at the bottom uh, where the rabbits are. And that is to protect from predators. Uh, just in case someone is, or an animal is trying to, you know, get along the sides and stuff to bury inside or underneath and try to get inside, this is gonna protect them from it. And they're still able to get all of the nutrients from the grass uh, and you can see that they pick this clean uh, through this wire mesh. Now we have left this for the video. We're gonna go ahead and move them uh, so you can see the difference uh, and how much they really work on this grass and they, how much they really love getting new pasture. So we're gonna go ahead and move this and then afterwards I'm gonna show you the second generation as well. Okay, so you saw I was able to move the tractor by myself. Uh, we are on a flat surface. I did struggle a little bit because there was a hole. Um, so you can see I was pulling it a little bit harder, but um, I was able to do it because there's a flat surface. Now, if it's an, on an incline, I cannot do it. I have to wait for my husband. So we're gonna show you our modifications and how you can uh, build this the, right the first time and that you can go ahead and move it and it's not so cumbersome to move. Okay, so this is our second generation. You can see that it has a tarp on it. The reason why we keep a tarp on it is just in case it's a super sunny day, um, to keep them, give them a little bit more shade. Also, if it's raining or super windy, this gives them a little bit more protection. Now we do have a roof on top of it and I will show that to you. Um, but I just wanted to note that you might wanna keep a tarp on it just to give them some extra protection. We do keep one on the other one as well. I didn't have it on there, um, but I will show you how, I, uh, how we secure it down and then uh, go ahead and take it off and show you the rest of it. Okay, so uh, we secure this with a bungee cord and then some clips as well as the, the tarp. And it has little holes in here so that you can go ahead and put the bungee cord in. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. We will keep links down below in the description uh, so that you can uh, go ahead and check out 
how you can create one as well. So super simple to go ahead and take it off. Um, go ahead and uncover it real quick here. We do keep some in the back as well. Um, and like I said, that just helps. In case it's a super windy day, it'll secure it down. Okay, now that we have the tarp off, I wanna go ahead and show you the second generation. Now, obviously you can see that the major change from the first to the second is that we actually only have two spaces here. I'd much prefer as a woman to go ahead and move two of these in comparison to one of the four. So one thing I do want you to know is that we're actually on an incline here. Before we just had a flat surface and it was still even a little bit more challenging for me to go ahead and move. But even with this incline, it's gonna be easier for me to move this second generation. Uh, with the construction, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we built it. We did still use the two by four, rip down two by fours and the hardware cloth. Now with this second generation, we did include two handles. The first one only had one. These handles are a lot bigger. Um, and like I said, there's two. So I'm able to pick it up with two hands um, rather than just the one and go ahead and move it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how a lot easier it is for me to go ahead and move this, even with the incline. So just pick it up. And they're super excited to get new grass here. They got hung up on the rock real quick. But anyway, it was a lot easier for me to, to move them. Um, here on the roof, we have plastic PVC. It shades them um, and protects them, obviously. Like I said, we keep the tarp on there, but this is a, a hard surface to protect them. We also have this uh, handle on both sides that we can go ahead and pick it up and open it up. We have hinges here, and these are actually just regular hinges that we put on, uh, that you would put on like an inside door uh, with the, just the three holes on each side. And that allows us to open it up. Okay, and as you can see, I can go ahead and open it up with those hinges real super easy. Right now, we only have zip ties on the side and they're secured down by a huge staple that we have hammered in. We are gonna go ahead and rip down a two by four and put it in there so it's a lot easier and safer obviously to keep open. Um, we did put water on the bottom, same thing that we did before. They're able to go ahead and get to their grass. Um, and the other major uh, change that we did to this, to this generation is that we used larger wheels. Now on the other one, we had much smaller wheels and they're a lot easier to kind of get stuck in the ground. If, they're, if the ground is any bit soft, they kind of sink down. Uh, if there's a hole, it's just a lot harder for it to pull out of the hole. So these wheels have been just so, so wonderful to change out. Um, we used a threaded bolt system to go ahead and put through the, the outside into the inside. And you can see, we'll go ahead and show you, we have a two by four protecting the rabbits from getting to the bolt at all. Okay, now that we have talked about all of the changes that we made from the first generation to the second generation, we're gonna go ahead and show you how we built this and how you can too. Now, if you're interested in the dimensions and how exactly we made this, you can go to www.purposedrivenhomestead.com and we're gonna explain to you all of the dimensions, everything that you need to know, and uh, links for everything so that you can one as well. Now, we don't have them up just yet, um, so go ahead and keep checking back. We're gonna get those up as soon as possible.
Okay guys, now that you've watched the entire build of our uh, Ravage Factors and the difference between the first generation and the second, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tarp on so that these guys can have a little bit more shade. We also just move them so they have fresh clover and they're super excited. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to our channels and hit that notification bell because uh, we have a lot of videos that are coming out that I think you're gonna be super excited about. Also, there's links above uh, for some other videos that we've already created. So go ahead and check those out as well. Have a blessed day, guys.